Alright, in this video I want to rewind for a bit and uh, stop using these uh, bones and we're going to create set driven keys. So in the previous videos we used these IK handles on each of the fingers but um, I've kind of realised it's not the best thing in this situation. All we want to do is curl the fingers in and to do that we just need to add a little bit more detail and um, add a couple more bones. So to begin with I'm just going to get the slide edge tool and just like space these out a little bit. Um, so double click the loop and just like middle mouse drag I'm just going to do that for a couple of uh, loops because our finger is going to have more joints so okay I think that'll do alright that'll do so now I want to add little, a few more loops here there's going to be there's going to be another like three loops so I'm just going to Actually move these, just bring them down. Don't let it look too dodgy. And uh slide this one down a bit. I just want to make some space for the next loop, so So in this video I'll probably just prepare the model in the next one we'll do the set driven keys. Sorry guys, I know we've been on this arm for quite a while. But if you want to do something, you might as well do it right. So, that's that. Uh, I'm going to go into my mesh or um, polygons preset, um, edit mesh, insert edge loop tool, and let's just put another couple of loops in here. Boom, boom. And uh, if you've downloaded the hand, guys, from Unity Chat Channel, feel free to edit that. You can uh, download the hand for free and do your own. Okay. If I can select the loop and... Um, slide edge tool, that's the one. Bring it down a bit. Okay, so we've just added a bit more detail to the hand. Let's save this before I continue. So our bone's there at the moment. It's in the right place. I'm going to go into a top view. Maybe not, in a front view, sorry guys. And uh, create some more bones. Get our joint tool out. And uh, let's just create one here for now. So we want another bone. So we want like one, two, three, and then one at the end. That's a bit wonky, so we can just select the bones and move them into place if we can. Um, don't want to select the mesh, <laughs> the bones. I've been in my own a couple of days, guys. Sorry, and so just line them up for a bit. And this one can be outside the finger, actually. And okay, I think that'll work out pretty well. And all we need to do now is exactly the same for the other fingers. So one, you can see the loops easier in this one. Just move them to the middle of the loop so things deform nicely. Okay, one there, one there. And that is really wonky, so <laughs> let's just uh, straighten these out a bit. Okay, one more finger to go. Okay, so let's have a look, see where they are. Bit wonky, so I'm just going to grab. And for some reason, that one got created over there. Delete and do that again. Um, all right, let's just do these three, three fingers now. So. Just 
just move them into place, roughly the right place. Yeah, that do. And for some reason, the little finger didn't get connected. So let's do it again. Okay, it's connected now. I can't really see the loops very well, so I'm just going to have to guess it for now. Alright, cool. That's alright. Let's move this in a bit. So here are fingers. A um, bit of a weird angle. So the thumb's basically the same thing, guys, but the thumb is going to rotate in the other direction. So in the direction where the tip's facing, or the fingernail. Back into a front view again. I want to put one here, here, here. Let's put one there and one at the end. Move them into place a little bit. Okay, a bit wonky. Let's just straighten them out. Okay, it's pretty straight, that's good. I think it'll work. So here are our bones. So we've got more geometry to play with and we've got more bones. Alright guys, so I'm just going to save this. The next thing we need to do is test the rotation. So to test the rotation we can select the topmost joint of our um or the joint we want to test basically, the finger, go to your window, your outliner and press F to find the joint so all we need to do is expand all these to the bottom joint and select all of them like this so make sure the topmost joint is selected just hold shift and press the top joint and rotate it so with all of the bones selected they'll all rotate and curl in and that's what we'll be using to rotate the fingers so just as an example let's find this one expand all the little finger ones select them select the topmost joint and frame up when we curl they'll curl inwards like that all right guys simple as that so the ne in the next video we'll be using a set driven key to curl these in uh, just as a side note someone else has done this on YouTube a couple of people have but um, if you can't understand it from me you can go and search for them they might explain it a bit better who knows so there we go it works for all the fingers um, thanks for watching the video guys I'll, I'll see you in the next video